Meet Stan the Man. He may not sound very healthy, but Stan the Man is one of the leading instructors at the Granite Technical Institute. Stan, as you can tell, is a dummy. But he's a breathing, talking, sick dummy. Stan gives the GTI's certified nurse assisting students a unique opportunity to learn without hurting anyone. Stan does all the things that real sick people do. So this they get to see a sick person that he can throw up, <laughs> he can groan, he can tell them you're hurting me. Uh, whereas, you know, a well person, you usually don't get that kind of feedback. That may or may not sound attractive to some people, but GTI students are lining up to get into the CNA class. In addition to working on Stan, the students treat each other as patients. One, two, good. Okay, she's got a, a left-sided hip fracture, excuse me. Um, so are you okay to log roll her to her right side if she's got a left-sided hip fracture? To her right side? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. As they practice, the patient gets experience by empathy. I'm learning a lot of how to do positioning, what's comfortable for me so I know what would be comfortable for the patients. When they were just putting the bedpan underneath, underneath me, I could feel like what was comfortable, what was not. I could feel what, like how high I needed the bed, what was comfortable, and so, and things that they couldn't tell. CNA instructors train students with step-by-step -step procedures that not only serve and protect patients, but help protect the nurse assistant as well. For example, was this patient's denture broken before or after she came to the hospital? Any idea how much dentures cost? A lot. Isn't it like 500 for bottom, 500 for top? About 5,000 dollars. 1,000? Yeah. Right. Wow. <laughs> so we don't want to be responsible. So if they happen to have like a cracked denture or a, a missing tooth, we want to make sure that we're not responsible for that. So what are you going to do with that information if something's wrong? You write it down. You record. You record, record it. Good job. Okay. The GTI is operated inside a former hospital. It's a natural location for nursing and medical training. Some patient rooms were preserved to offer this educational program in real life surroundings. But the way that it's set up is so that they feel comfortable going into a hospital or clinical um, um, or care center situation and working because they're in that environment here at the GTI. So it's really nice. With the important practicum, CNA students get real world experience through internships at local care centers and hospitals. I want to be a neonatal nurse, but I think that this will just help give me some skills. Yeah, I've also taken medical terminology last semester, and all the teachers are really great here, and it's really hands-on, and you just learn a lot better because, like, the classes sizes are a little bit smaller, and a lot of, like, the teachers just focus, like, on, like, you personally, too. Our students are getting jobs. A lot of my students are getting jobs, even in a tough economy. I've had several of my students call me and tell me that they have gotten jobs, and, and it's an easy transition for them, they feel, because they are at the care centers. We teach them how to work at the care centers. We teach them how to be independent. Plus, they have all this classroom time and demonstration time here to learn their skills, so they feel that they are very prepared to actually go out and get a job. And our students are getting jobs, even in a tough market.